everyone this is Tanya so I wanted to get on here really quickly today and just give you a heads up because I am really tempted to do something different with my hair so first let me tell you what's going on I'll show you I just have on a blue scarf and it's kind of tied around and then I have my hair pulled back in a clip in a banana clip and it's pinned under and um, I did this because I had to rush this morning. I am taking Hebrew classes, and so this morning I had to rush. I was running late, and my hair still had deep conditioner in it. Long story. But anyway, I ran in the shower, washed out the deep conditioner, just slapped on my leave-in right onto the twist, pulled my hair back, and pinned it up. So it's actually still damp, and I have to get it out of this style really quickly because I don't want it to start to get nasty. But in the meantime, before I did that, I decided I'd just get on here, show you what it looked like, and um, tell you that I'm really tempted by Danielle, hi Danielle, and by Pukinap to do some mini twists. Now, I promised myself I wasn't doing mini twists at all this summer, but now I'm tempted. So we'll see what I do. I don't know, by the next time I shoot a video, I might have mini twists, who knows. Anyway, I wanted to tell you that and give you a heads up in case you see them. Although I've kind of sworn off of them, but I'm really tempted, guys. Okay, we'll see. Anyway, I also wanted to show you a couple of things that I got that I can't believe I haven't shown you already because this right here, fantastic. So if you don't know, I am a graduate of the University of Georgia. Yes, I'm a proud bulldog. And I found a shirt a couple of weeks ago in the old city that I almost passed out over. My son said, Mom, look, that shirt says Georgia Bulldogs in Hebrew. I said, no, it didn't. There's no shirt here that says that. And then I went back. Do you see that? The top line says the Georgia and the bottom line says Bulldogs in Hebrew. Do you understand me? I bought this here shirt. I haven't bought a t-shirt in Israel in I don't know how many years, but this right here? Yeah, I was buying that. I'm so excited! I can represent in Hebrew now. So I will be wearing my Georgia Bulldog shirt. Maybe I'll do length checks in this from now on. Hmm, we'll see. Anywho, wanted to show you that. And this past weekend we went to the beach and to stay with some friends who have a pool on their, um, they live in what's called a kibbutz, and I'll explain that another time if you'd like to know. It's kind of like a Jewish commune, sort of. Um, it's a shared community where they share everything together, and they're able to afford things that are not as easy to get otherwise. Um, that's not why they do it, but that's the end, that's one of the results. So anyway, while we were with them, we went to the pool every day. On the way home, we stopped at the beach, and look what I bought. Big hatness. I love it. Isn't it cute? It's big and round. And you can tell me anything in my big hat on the beach. And at this archaeological site called Caesarea, which was a really cool site. So anyway, here's my big hat happiness. My Georgia Bulldog t-shirt happiness. And a heads up that in my next video, I might have mini twists. We'll see. I'm struggling with the whole twisting them up and then not washing them thing. I, I don't think I can do that. I wash every week. We'll see. Anyway, let me know what you think. Okay? Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.